So, I know I probably didn't say this very clearly, um, but in the beginning, the knit one and yarn over or uh, knit through the back loop, back and front loop, the that part is just the beginning. The pattern repeat starts after that knit through the front and back loop. The pattern repeat in it is the knit four, two, three, four, and the SSK, so slip as if to knit, and then knit the two together, knit two together, oh, I'm not in focus, yeah, that's much better, oh no, don't fall over camera, and then knit two together, and then the knit four, and then yarn over or knit through the back and front loops through the next two. I'm just yarning over um, on the outside of those two stitches. So if you can see here, these two stitches here, ooh, I'm not in focus again. Oh, that's better. Just yell at me through the camera screen if I'm not in focus or through the computer screen. Uh, these two stitches here, would have been knit through the front and back loop, but I changed the pattern um, to my liking so that it's yarn overs outside of the two. So I'm still getting the increases, but it's a little bit lacier in the way that I like it. Um, so you probably have the pattern by now, and if not, um, again, the written description, the written portion in the description, I've said that like six times. <laughs> I need to stop talking. So I'm just gonna knit to the end of my row, or to the last two stitches, and then we will be back. Oh, I'm not in focus again. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep knitting. Oops. Let's try that one more time. Just gonna keep knitting. You can skip ahead, I'll put the time, no I won't, uh, you can skip ahead if you want to or you can just watch me, whenever I'm knitting I like to watch knitting videos, so it makes me feel like, ooh, I could be that good, I could do that, and then I try it, and I mess up miserably, um, but, yes, I'm coming up with my last repeat yep last repeat of the pattern and I have I think 10 of these ripples in my blanket so I'm doing 10 repeats I thought it might be a little bit boring for you to just watch me do the 10 um, but I'm coming up on my last repeat now or finishing it my SSK and then knit two together here and then knit four and then once you finish those knit four you should have two stitches left if you have more than two or less than two unless you're doing a border on yours then you did something wrong um, and you can just watch back the video now here again because I changed the pattern in the written pattern it will say to knit through the front and back loop on this last stitch. So right here I'm at the point I finished all my repeats and I have my last two stitches left. Um, I hear someone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm at my last two stitches. Right now in the pattern it would say to knit through the front and back loop but to maintain that lace what I'm gonna do is knit one yarn over instead so the lace is on the outside of that stitch and then the last stitch is just knit one and then I'm gonna continue with my seed stitch border and I just have markers there which I probably don't need anyways but it's good to have on the pearl rows um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about with seed stitch 
this the seed stitch. I'll post a tutorial. Once I do, I'll put a link in the description sometime, probably soon. Um, it's just two alternating garter stitches, pretty much. So the first stitch here is the knit garter stitch, and the second one is the purl garter stitch, which means you just purl every row, um, and you just alternate with the stitches, um, and it gets a very textured, bumpy effect. Um, so yeah, those are the two rows. Just the pattern repeat on there. I want to show you what I'm doing here. Um, in this blanket, I'm going to try and post monthly-ish. Those are my quotation marks, which I because I'm probably going to forget at some point. Um, monthly updates on how far I am in this. I'm going to keep trying. This is the first blanket I've ever knit. Um, what I'm doing is 12 rows in one color, then I'll switch to my next color. And it's going to be pinks and oranges, maybe reds, dark purples. You know the deal. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll link in the description to my main channel where I send songs sometimes. And my second channel where I'm going to start posting some videos of my pets. Because we all need more cat and dog videos in the world. Um... And there can never be too many. So, yeah. Here's what it looks like if you're doing yarn overs. If you're not doing yarn overs in the pattern, got to try and spread these out, then these would be closed up and it would just be the regular stitches there. Um, but if you're doing yarn overs, changing the pattern like I did, then it's going to look like this as you're completed. So, Hope you liked this, my first tutorial. Hope to post more soon. Thanks for watching.